Hello, Sekka. I'm tired of you, British Sekka. I want to go somewhere and cry into a ball because I'm so tired of your voice. <laughs> Are you sad because you're not doing pulls, Sekka? Dude, I haven't done pulls in so long. <laughs> this is how it is for free-to-play players every day. Dude. Dude, I have three accounts. I know how it is free to play. It's, it sucks. Clearly, it's much worse than you imagined while saving for a new banner. I know, man. I'm losing my sanity. I'm going, I'm getting so bored. I just, I'm so bored. Well, I have good news. What's the good news? I have a game theory about how MiHoYo is going to get us a booty clap in the booty hole. I'm too tired for this, man. I'm just... Don't forget to have your tea. Last time you skipped it, you got sick. Man, fuck! Okay, so I have a theory about Genshin Impact. And that theory is involving prototype weapons. So, if you don't know, on my main account, I currently have an R5 prototype archaic, and I guess I do refine this weapon, and I think it was worth it, but I've had it for months, right? And one of the things I want to talk about is prototype weapons. A lot of people have told you in the past to save your prototype weapons and you're going to save them for a very, very long period of time until they come up with better craftable weapons. And we saw that they came up with more craftable weapons in the Dragon Spine patch. Now, this is just a random passing thought, but bear in mind here, listen to this real quick. So the... The increase in craftable weapons, we got the Snow Tomb Star Silver with the naming Snow Tombed, and the Dragon Spine Spear, as well as the Frost Bearer. All three of these have very north sounding names, if you catch my drift, because they are Northlander, and Northlander, and Northlander, Catalyst Belay, and Northlander, Claymore Belay. So because they're called the Northlander stuff, well, Inazuma is a continent to the east. And my theory is that when Inazuma comes out, potentially, they will have a brand new craftable material that will not be called the Northlander prototype but the east village or east lander or whatever or island goer or something like that relating to inazuma prototype for inazuma based weapons it could be a four star rarity five star rarity whatever i don't freaking know it's just a guess so this is a theory 100 percent not a factual argument Oh fuck, Sekka! Oh shit, you scared the shit out of me! I thought that was real! Oh my god! Oh, oh. It's just a theory, oh thank god! This is a straight up full send theory, okay? And it's just based on the fact that it's called a Northlander Sword Belay. So because that's the case, there's a bunch of craftable weapons that are in the game, and I was thinking about if saving these craftable materials are going to be or not. And because the 1.5 leaks came out, as well as there's the uh, we all know what's going on in 1.4, and they've not announced any new weapons for craftable weapons in 1.4, they didn't announce any craftable weapons in 1.3, and the last time we got any craftable weapons was in 1.2, my theory, full send theory again, is that it's okay to use these prototypes because in the future, there may be another prototype material that might be a four star already, might be a five star already, I don't know. Well, it just might be a totally different material for completely different weapons. I don't know if it's true or not, but I asked my chat what they thought. All right, I'll let you guys show you guys. I'll, you, you, we'll do a vote so you can see it on screen, yeah? Do you think that there will be new prototype mats in Inazuma. Yes, no. All right, I asked them, do you guys think there will be new prototype mats in Inazuma? One for yes, two for no. And my theory is that there will be new materials because I just feel like MiHoYo has been dicking us lately. And for some reason, I have a gut feeling, I just a guess, that MiHoYo's just gonna 
plunge us in the booty hole even harder. And I feel like it's gonna happen, and I've seen game companies do it before, where they just said, you know what, there's gonna be a new material. So currently, the way we get these materials are the three bosses in the game. There is, of course, Storm Terror's Lair, we got the, uh, the Volant, and we got, uh, over here, we got the Wolf with Lupus Boreas, and finally, the Child Boss. Now, these three areas are the main areas that we are currently getting prototypes. Now, there's also the most recent uh, thing coming out called the Abyss Hunter, which will probably be, of course, somewhere in this area. But when Inazuma comes out, it will be in a totally different area. And it will be actually probably somewhere over here, because this is where the map actually goes. It actually, it can only go this way. Like, you can try to go this way if you want to. But like, we, we know Inazuma is an island in like kind of Japan area. So it's probably over here somewhere. Probably got to take a boat to it or some crap and just you get there. I don't know. But I'm guessing it's like way over here. Okay, that's my guess. And because it's over there, we, there were people that leaked maps and all that crap about it. There were fake leaks on prototype materials for five-star materials and all that. There's, there's a bunch of fake leaks out there. But because it's going to be in a totally different region that was not launched with the game, my guess is that since it's going to be a totally different region, it's going to have totally different materials and chain and reset all the, the players in the game to a base state. It's a common practice in gaming when a new patch comes out for a, va a major, major version to reset everyone to that same starting point. And the starting point uh, at that for those players is going to be like for a new expansion or whatever. And that's similar to how Genshin Impact is going to implement a new area. It's very similar to many games when they put out new expansion areas like uh, World of Warcraft when they add a new area, everybody gets reset to the same level and they all have to then refarm up to a different point. No, everyone gets the same starting point. You have to get new gear, new equipment, whatever it may be. So my thought is that it's going to be very similar that the pre-farm ability of Inazuma may not actually be possible because of just years of game experience and fuckery. And because MiHoYo has shown their colors and that they have, of course, not really liked the leaks and have not given us information, I feel the fuckery coming on. And because the fuckery is happening, potentially, we may have new craftable materials in 2.0 or whenever Inazuma is. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys think there will be brand new craftable materials in Inazuma? Or do you think we will have the same prototypes as we do now? Have a great day, guys.